Greetings, my excellent friends. Welcome, welcome. We're gonna continue on the story, I suppose. Get towards the end. I, I 
fear of me getting shot, but... Broke something. We're kind of lost in here. that way but I, I don't know how to go that direction See, that's the exit Do not see a way to get over there. At all. You there? No, nothing through there. What the heck, man? Is gravity heavy here? heavy it's one and a half times gravity no wonder I keep getting hurt when I fall I'm stuck. I don't know where this goes. 
Oh no, now it's gonna hurt. I want to say it goes up in there, but this is a dead end. limb gain. Man, this place is unforgiving. Um, 
Why? <laughs> I think we can go to Vladimir and discover this. is such a beast. something hmm constellation and star Rome Romer Her emissary and their allies for the final artifact. Mm. Well then. Talk with Andrasia, talk with Sam Co. So we know the answer. Who are the Starborn? Well, we are. Or some cracked mirror version of ourselves. The whole thing seems unreal. The, the constellation art. We're one for you. Yeah. Who's keeping track? You know, yeah, plus one for Team Sam. <laughs> I was hoping the Starborn were somehow so advanced that their concerns were cosmic, significant. Right. Instead, they're fighting over goddamn toys like we've been doing since caveman times. Yeah. It's just a stupid game to them. And all their deaths and suffering, now relevant. Yep. Well, I'm talking to the game. And they seem to be just as messed up as the rest of us. Well, I have so the unity is a gateway. A gateway to countless possibilities. And you have a chance to go through it. Imagine. I'd be lying if it doesn't sound like the adventure of a lifetime. I don't know if you're taking anyone with you, but if you take me, I got no idea if I'd go through or not. If it weren't for Cora, I'd jump on it in a heartbeat. Cora would probably shove both of us out of the way and dive in first. Born explorer, that girl. I'm gonna pop these out. Wait! It takes four! No one. Oh. We have some rechargeables. We can. Yeah. Okay. 
Kimmy, uh, can I have that too, please? Your dick? Don't, that one takes two. They're double A. Yeah, we'll, we'll get the rechargeable set up. Just give me a little bit, okay? As much as I enjoy having you around. All right, well. Uh, pure exploration, man. Exactly, right? I know it's your decision who to work with, but you gotta remember that the hunter murdered our friend. That's true. Sure, the emissary may be a version of Sarah, so Sarah is still alive. Sort of. But that doesn't make what the hunter did right. Not by a long shot. If the Starborn are party crashers from different universes, I'd side with the one that's not willing to murder innocents to win. Me neither. I don't like either. My head is still spinning. Maybe after. Take care. See, that's the thing is, it might be Sarah, but it's not our Sarah, right? Not the one that we had experiences with, etc. Grand Rage ahead. Down here. Hmm. I have been thinking about what we talked about before. The idea of purpose in one's life. You told me that fun was important. I assumed you were joking and dismissed it out of hand. But, having thought about it, I wonder now if you were right. Or at least, if I were too quick to reject the idea. I have been single-minded in my pursuits. I have always believed the decisions I made were necessary. This is that there was the no downturn. other option. Oh. No, I have sacrificed hoop, much to be where I am now. This little hose and goes into here, then it jumps out here. I'm starting to wonder if so right it now, has there, been there. worth it. Cool. And it's going through. Oh, one in parallel. Doubts have never been something I would consider. I have told you that. I am it's not one to discuss my oh. past. I mean it. And it yet. Not poisoning. No, not that poison. is not what I am trying to say. I this is promised a nice to pedophile. provide for my family. That meant working with smugglers wow. to procure supplies wow. we could not acquire any other way. I have spent my adult life away from my home. Jumping from one planet to the next, living in dangerous conditions, often surrounded by violence. It certainly influenced the way I see the universe. I was convinced from the beginning that it was unwise to let anyone get too close. I had maybe not quite friends, but people I cared about. Yet there was always a distance I could not reach across. I often find other people complicated and confusing. Yeah. It seemed easier to not become attached, especially when chair. circumstances meant I, I might never Nine see them chair. again. With no warning. And on your chair. Guess what? And on your chair. Until now, I have disagreed strongly with that idea. I know you But therein lies my concern. What I am trying to say is that I now wonder whether it has been the right decision to distance myself from yeah, others. Yeah, you are. I appreciate that more than you know. Man, she's hard to romance if she's romanceable. It's, that's hard to do. Look for the Opportunity Rover on Mars. Heck yeah! I'm in your chair. I'm in your chair. I'm in your chair. Ah. I'm in your chair. I'm in your chair. I'm in your chair. 
you silly thing! <laughs> Look at what we found. Yeah, you did notice that. You know that, huh? That was awesome. Talk with Barrett. The multiverse? This is everything and more, literally. I admit, I was really hoping they were. But I cannot believe I limited my hopes and dreams to only aliens now. Jeez, this explains so much, though. They're disorganized, petty, weird, and also deeply fascinating at the same time. Because they are just people. But who we put the artifacts there? Out, but it feels so good to know we weren't fighting against robot alien ghost gods or something. You're right. They've heard us in their quest for power. So that? They've heard countless others. And two jumps What if in? every other universe is oh. in shambles because of them? We don't know. But it all comes back to this. We don't know what will happen if you enter the Unity. True. You might lose yourself or become a two-headed space shark. So that means... There are too many variables. Well, hey, there's 12 blocks right here. Yeah. There are. There was all these... In a... It, what? It was first... No. I just have to go oh, back and forth about it for a while four, first, and then I'll be three, completely fine. Four, just part of my pride. Three, of course, at the we, end of the day, it's your choice. But I will say this. Whoa. Our entire purpose in Constellation yeah. is to explore. We, Why would we stop now? Don't do Obviously. If you were ready to jump in right now, I would not be following Look at me. you. I'm sorry to say. Your nose. It's a huge decision. It's powdered sugar. You change who you are. Where'd you get powdered sugar it's on your like nose? It's not like dyeing your hair gold or getting a my body donuts. fat suit or eating a full Jeez. pack of extra wild spicy chunks in under a minute. This is serious business. Maybe it's a powdered donut. Uh, Anytime. Uh, the possibility of turning evil aside. Wait, there's <laughs> I appreciate you taking the lead on this. Yeah, You're guiding constellation things. to new frontiers, this, new discoveries, and we should all timer. follow your example. Uh, on that note, no. there's something else I'd like to discuss with you, well, that if broken. you have time. It's not on the scale of That's entering all. the unity, but it is tangentially related. That is all. Oh, Thanks. <laughs> this has been swirling in my brain goo for a while now. There was first so, ten of them around. I've been pondering There's over what's three, happened and what it all two, means. Three, two, and three, I've got a favor to ask. A teensy weensy favor. Hey, that was about the size of a plank length, really. I think it's time I joined you in the physics it bending powers for, business. <laughs> See if one of those temples works for three, more than just you. Three, two, three, two. Then I added Marvelous. Two more. I'm glad. As it so happens, I've already talked to Vladimir. Seems our eye in the sky is back up and running. He that sent me the coordinates be... for the temple already. Um, three plus three plus two plus two that equals ten. Hey, 
plus If you two, have time, I've been no. thinking about some things. Wanted to talk to you about it. Um, can you do this now? Can you do this now? second. We're going to try and take him if he can get powers. I'm destroyed! Are you sure about that? Yes. Landing commencing. Hey, Dad. Want to hear a poem I wrote? It's called a haiku. I just read that now. A haiku? It sounds exciting. It's serious. Okay. It's called Space. Fully engaged. Ready for anything. That's where you got powers? Like boost things? Oh. Uh-huh. Well, the boosting thing is part of my suit. Oh, well, where's your power? your power? I'll show you in just a second. Oh, hey, it's already Wiggler Geo Geo Wait, was that your friend? planets? guy his power first. Launch failed, okay. Whoa. Hello, Hannah. 
Hold on a sec. I just. Oh god. Hold on. This is weird. <laughs> You got to be joking. Hold nope. Hold on. Okay. Skipping the initial shock of it all. Can you hold on? Agreed. Not worth it. Forming a hypothesis. Hmm. What? Oh no. Which one of you is my Barrett? Me. Accurate. I'm just uh, passing through. One of you. Explain what's happening here. Molecular binary schism. Let me restart or something. Twinning? Is that what it needs you to do? Hallucination? Don't forget the fluctuations in the energy patterns, which align almost deterministically. Harmonize vibrations, distorting some mechanical barrier between neighboring universes? Impossible to know with such a minute subset of readings. We need more data. Obviously. Obviously. Huh. Uh, no, what do we call you, uh, other Barrett? I'll be Barrett Prime. Amundsen is fine. Usually the barrier between us is too thick to communicate you much anyway. Amundsen? Now I know you're not me. Hey, one of us has to keep it classy. <laughs> what are you doing to him? <laughs> Why stop at you? It won't work. The energy required increases exponentially per anomaly. I'm already exhausted. In a way that's hard to describe. Not physically or mentally, but something else. Sorry, friend. You'll feel right as rain when I dissipate. Whoa, there. Sustaining this connection requires a lot of concentration. Is this permanent? You will eventually monitor the energy fluctuations and agree. But no, this is unusual. I could study this forever. Okay. Irma Ready? told me to just enjoy it and collect data on the side for later. And I'm glad I did. Irvin? He's with you. He's... Okay? By the tone of your voice, I'm gathering some things in our lives might be a bit different. Is he... is he happy? Yes, he is. Our daughter pilots the ship after Vasco was destroyed. But otherwise, okay. we've survived the war well. We're Going on, on 20 years now. On the thing where, but um, we're starting to turn the tide. The Imagine all of the variations. In space, it's endless. But at the Yes, that's amazing. Sounds like you don't have a daughter here. Oh, I take you it. You turned it the wrong way. It's no, be this way. We talked about it, but that's the Hubble. No, we named her after Aja, my mentor. She died in the crossfire between the United Colonies and the Free Star Collective decades ago. Wow. For me, Irvin died instead of Aja in that crossfire. She's best friends with Cora. And Cora? she's smart Wait. as hell. Wait. <laughs> of course she is. And um, the moon earth oh, right man. by you. I only hope because the new one we're building right is just you. as salty as the last one. They're right behind you. It's been so long. The horror of the Look, unimaginable. Come over I promise. Here. I want you to see. I have so many questions. I wonder how many paths I've taken. We've That's taken. How many variations? There. How many ended with heartache and how many with joy? I think about that all the time. Wait. The pinchy crab. Oh, the What's that noise? There you go. Starboard the ship. The crab right there. What happens for you? I don't think it works that way, though. Maybe I'm just a con. Good to know. Clarence. We can handle it. on it. Oh. Okay. Well, that ought to do it. Second. Nice.
can't hold on to you. I'm struggling. Being pulled through the barrier. This is probably it, friends. Um and son, cherish every moment with them. I it's already do, it. my friend. I promise. Oh, there it is. Wow. So look, for the record, I am the same Barrett that came here with you. For sure. I think. right there. With the gold. Hubble Space Telescope. And it's right be behind your face. <laughs> behind your... Isn't um, it? I mean, uh, hey, at least only one other Barrett appeared. Imagine if there, an army of... Oh, uh, there they up. are. There's... There's, um... Come over here. Uh, I want you to kinda. see. I mean, here's the thing. Right it's pretty exhausting the way that's hard to describe. And they were on the second one of me seems... Yeah. Well, Jupiter frankly, enemy. it seems like it would kill me. But yes, oh, I tried. Where are you going? Briefly. Then I stopped when I realized how impossible it would be. Makes me tired just thinking about it. True. How would I stand out in a crowd made entirely of myself anyway? Anyway, it's a relief, you know. I have this ability, this power. And I'm still just me. Just regular Barrett. Yep. And they already feel like it's subsiding. I no longer feel like I'm in a huge crowd. Yes, though it takes a lot of concentration. If I do it a lot, I bet I'd give myself a headache from myself. <laughs> I'm my own migraine. Nice. I thought so too. Other me, other Barrett, seemed like he was able to handle himself well in that fight. Anyway, we'll see. If the other me gets in the way, I can just release him or stop using the power entirely. For now, I just need to use mm. this power a bit and digest what all has happened. That's pretty <laughs> exhausting, really. There you are. So I might. All right, so. Mm. All right, Baird's dismissible. That looks like a starboard ship. I wonder if we could get in there. Accessible. All right. Shotgun. Okay. Apparently, we need to talk to them. Maybe a few minutes. Probably not hours, though. But no guarantees. Sorry. I was lost in a memory for a moment there. How can I help? You know, traveling with you has been more than just good old fashioned fun. Upgrade it's now. It's been, Dismiss. well, therapeutic. Yay! Oh, hey. Is this really weighing on your mind so much? I know. It didn't seem like it, right? Well, I was hiding it. Hiding it from everyone, Hi. including myself. I can see now how much it was affecting me. I know now that clearing Irvin's name would set me free from the grief. That's fair. And honestly, that's the part that I actually need help with the most. Yeah, of course. Vasco is a fantastic co-pilot. He doesn't sleep, he reacts quickly. He's a fascinating friend. And great team. That's just a f Which brings me back to that plan I mentioned earlier. I think I know how to move forward now. But I'm going to need your help. Sure. More credits? The contact sent a gift. Seems real to me. 
Or they so they found it. an insurance settlement. Irvin's employers got paid as compensation for sabotage. Now they claimed they had to ditch the whole mine and all the equipment inside and construct a new mine with new equipment. <laughs> they were reimbursed for all of it. It seems that the mining company got a huge payout after they won the case against Irvin. We have the settlement paperwork from their insurance. Tons of money. Oh, huh. also the cyber runner had to move on to other work, but sent me a passcode to some computer system. I'm not sure what it goes to yet. We can just hold on to it until we figure it out. But anyway, we have enough to move forward. The missing piece here is proven that Irvin was framed. So I discovered that Irvin's original lawyer still practices law. And she'll look over everything we found. Yes, I believe so. Every case she's worked on has been in the interest of regular, everyday people. She doesn't seem to be in this for the money. I mean, heck, she said she wouldn't even charge us for the initial consultation anyway. Nice. Irvin's case was her first case, she said. She always hated how it ended. And she's now got two decades of experience behind her for a rematch, too. All right. Talk to oh, lawyer. detective. I like the sound of that. If I'm the detective, does that make you my trustworthy and sensible partner with a heart of gold? Yes. No, definitely not. We're more of the explorer type anyway, right? Anyway. We should take everything to the lawyer and see what she says. Maybe she reviews it and decides we have no case, or we need more evidence. I don't know. If we don't have a case, I can probably let it go. But I have to try. Oh, yeah. Oh, yep. I've got a key card for it. But I don't know what condition it's in. Let's go look at in. the apartment. It's been 20 years, but I got the vinyl. Yes, I've already arranged them. Yeah, let's go talk. Fantastic. I've sent a list of everything we found. You know, I... lead the way. Chemicals and smoke. Take Barrett to Gagarin. We are. I'll talk with you. I was just thinking that this is about what Irvin saw all those years ago when he arrived. He probably stood here thinking that he was going to make things better. Mm. Oh, you remind me of him. And when you said it out loud, you know, I just hope our lawyer is as confident. I sent that to our lawyer already. Ellie Yankton. She worked on Irvin's previous case. 
Elliot is one of the few lawyers on this planet who's willing to take on the mining corporations in court. Mm. Yes, but listen, nobody will stand up against the mining corporations around. She didn't want to lose the case. Thanks to us, now she. All right, let's go right. talk to her. She said she would meet us. Hopefully, she can tell us what we need to do in order to clear Urban's name. Let's stick together, though. Gagarin isn't a huge town. But, but he don't want to get lost. Welcome to... really good. Guard, your ship need fuel? Repairs? Yeah. Anything I can help you with? Nothing for us to do. That construction is a dead industry, Chief Pretorius. Those jobs aren't coming back. But Reliant Medical, Archimite, and Satori Mills are dedicated to Gagarin. We were just hoping Gagarin could show the same dedication in return. I'm not closing up the city every time we want to run a tour group from here. Our investor visits are the key to making Gagarin a place that works again. A place where Someone people painted will some choice words on the art point. Your robots took it down pretty quick. Well, well, well. Barrett, you're actually here. Astounding. Ellie! Ellie, come on. I promised we'd stop by, didn't I? Hmm. People make promises all the time, Barrett. And most folks try to avoid Gagarin, not visit it. Anyway, I'm glad you made it out here. We have work to do, don't we? Mm. You handled his case years ago? Yes. It was my first case as a bright-eyed, optimistic lawyer. Well, starting your career with a defeat is rough, Ellie. <sighs> it was. But in a way, it made me more determined. Not exactly, but similar cases. A corporation commits a crime and needs a scapegoat, so they select someone powerless to target. Mm, the quintessential Gagarin tale. Indeed. It's not a resort. It's a working town run by mining corporations. You don't come here unless you need to, and you don't stay unless you have to. Or unless you're a bright-eyed, optimistic lawyer who genuinely wants to make things better for others. Right, Ellie? <laughs> <laughs> you're kind, Barrett. Yes, I suppose there's that type of person as well. Right. Down to business. Perfect. What do you already know? So we already know that Irvin worked for Hephaestus Mining Company years ago, and they blamed him for catastrophic economic and ecological issues here on Gagarin. Yes. He lost his case because he didn't defend himself, and we had almost no evidence without him. I recall receiving a message asking him to appear in court a day after his funeral. An unfortunate reality of interplanetary legal communiques, I'm afraid. 
He was publicly blamed for the economic woes, and his accounts were seized in compensation. Yeah. His account on Gagarin specifically. It was just the amount he was paid years ago for the job. Right. They would have taken his assets and other settlements, but by law, his death prevented it. Well, we need to clear his name. Well, we can bring the case to a judge here if we have new evidence or a witness. What about the evidence we've found so far? Yes, well, about that. It's just not enough. Hmm. Not on its own, no. It's circumstantial. Helpful to support our claim, but not enough. Best case scenario, we clear his name and his assets are returned, plus additional compensation. In order for me to go before a judge, I'd like to have some solid evidence pertaining to motive. Why do we need to establish that? The courts won't entertain a challenge to its ruling unless we're sure that something major was missed in the original trial. Yeah. What was the motive from the original trial? We had no solid motive after our witness withdrew his testimony. Hmm. Yeah, we need something major. Documentation, recordings, a witness, something. It's Check been so part. long. How could we find anything like that? I've thought about this a lot since the original case. The mine that Irvin worked at was shuttered in 2309. They probably still have documents relating to whatever happened there with him. Not necessarily. To Hephaestus, it might be cheaper to run away and let the dust bury it all. Hmm. Not really. All I know is that it's a Hephaestus mine from 20 years ago, somewhere on Gagarin. Hmm. I don't have a couple decades to wait for you to search them all, so we'll need to narrow it down. That's where you come in. I don't know which mine he worked at when the incident took place. In theory, you could find that information on a foundry terminal. If you can access it, hmm. you'll need a passcode. That's the hard part. Oh, we might have that. Besides the foundry records, there also might be something in Irvin's apartment. If he knew he was being framed, he might have held on to some documents there. Hmm. Makes sense to me. You've been hanging on to that old apartment this whole time, Barrett? Eh, it was easier to not bother with it. Not like it's worth anything in this economy anyway. I hope you still have the key. I have it. Figured maybe I'd sell it while we were here anyway. May as well, right? Hopefully that's enough to work with for now. If you'll excuse me, I have to get some court documents ready for this case. I should still have a key to Irvin's apartment. Uh, yeah, if it doesn't work. Time, but I can't be sure. Irvin's old apartment isn't far from uh -huh. oh. I doubt there's much in there, but it's good to check. If not, I mean, we used to work for Argos, and we have those passcodes. I was thinking about going for a hike outside the canyon. Did why he wanted me to look after his plants. No windows, insufficient power for proper lamps. Oh, yeah. wait a second. What about this safe? I bet it's locked by a terminal. Urban didn't live here for long. But he certainly had a lot of junk here. I had no idea. Well, I'll be. 
<laughs> if you ever doubted Irvin's genius, look at all this. Still chugging along 20 years later. Alien cactus? Hold on. Is that what I think it is? And gift to Barrett. Elgi Hoxson. Town Hall, I bet we can get a copy of that hunting license. Is that an employment contract? Let me see. No idea where mine H363 is, but we could search for it at the Foundry database. All right, we've got some solid leads, it looks like. The employment contract and the hunting license at Town Hall. Hmm. We need more. The more the merrier. Ah, it was a bit strange going through Irvin's old things, though. I was hoping for some old pictures, but nothing. Hmm. What's that you have there? A plant? No, but I did find a few slates that might give us a clue. <coughs> as well as a reminder to finish a physics paper that I... Uh, never did. Yeah, but not for the trial. <laughs> Let no one say that Irvin Madani didn't have a sentimental side. The proof is in this plant. Uh, with an assist from this self-sustaining habitat dish. Evolved or altered, Irvin used to experiment a lot with extremophile plant life. Maybe he made the perfect plant buddy for his windowless apartment. <clears throat> In any event, I'll go through Irvin's notes in more detail later. There's probably a flowchart somewhere with this little guy's name on it. Oh, <laughs> on that note, we... Sh what do you think of Harvey? Then it's unanimous. Okay, the three of us should get back to it. All right, we need to go to town hall. Bump, dump, 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 bump, bump, dump, bump, 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 dump, bump, 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 You ever read about the early history of spaceflight? 
sounds so political. So familiar sometimes. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Just a minute. Yeah, I'm doing some things here. done all we can. Worth a try. We just did that. Coordinates look valid to me. Imagine Irvin thinking the same thing all those years ago. Just a job, right? Well, at hey. least we know where to keep looking, right? I guess we'll see what state the mine is in. If that's the case, we'll just have to figure something out. Declan? <laughs> you think it looks like Declan? Not really. Declan is a toast. Declan is a toast. He is. Huh? Also, now can you do that? I'm almost ready. All right, we're gonna leave it here then, and then I will pick it up later. Careful. Sound good? This place was shuttered 20 years ago. Be excellent, teacher. Might have new tenants.